you need no introduction. One introduction is Nambiyar Amma's eldest son. <laughs> so Amma Baba is a landmark in the history of Chennai Mission. So you just say Nambiyar Amma's son, everybody will know. When was your first encounter with Kuchi Gurudev? Swamiji was staying with Mrs. Sundar in Harrington. We were staying on Lloyd's Road and there was a neighbor lady who told her mind, there is a Swami giving lectures in thousand lines. But the people come and listen, you know, he speaks very well, he speaks in English. Because Amma knew Sanskrit, but you know, still Amma Sanskrit was, must have been rusty, so we went. Those were the wonderful days. Swami just stayed with us for 20 days and 60 days. And, yeah. I mean, it was like a Mela, to be with him. 60 days, you just can't and imagine. I tried. Oh yes. my goodness. And then Amma must have found one of the missions and then that Swami was staying right with him. So I saw him there. And uh, I think Amma found, Amma was always looking for somebody. Right from my childhood, I think I'm all looking for somebody as a teacher to. It's in the family, you know. The grand uncles, everybody were entertaining sannyasis at home. But I don't think Amma found somebody which clicked like this. And I know when Amma met Gurudev, that was it. I mean, when, uh, when she was longing for a guru and, uh, and she found that she found, That's it. She had all the answers she needed in her life. From did you like going along with Amma to see Gurudev? Because Swamiji used to give sweets oh. or used to give some apple. What do you know? <laughs> so to get those sweets, you used to know. <laughs> Anytime. And Swamiji would have something to say to you. And you always felt very comfortable. And Mama never pushed. Mama never pushed at any time. Mm -hmm. Then I say, it grows on them in 1962. When Amma built the house, you we went up high. Gurudev, stayed there first. We didn't stay there. We were living around the corner. So Gurudev went into the house. Gurudev went into the house. We have promised not done by Gurudev and that was Gurudev's house. Still is? Yeah, still is. The first lecture of Gurudev that I understood to be was Bajagov. I was in I was in my 18 or 19 year old. And then Swami gave a little test at the end of the day. No, there was Kashi, there was Vishi, there was Dragon uh, Kaitote, and all these. We were, we were all a little gang of fellows. All, all the <laughs> And uh, somebody at the end of it gave a test to all of us. And I think all of us did quite well. I, I was surprised at myself because I understood. Even today, the last verse in Bajoka is how I start my prayers. Guru Charanam Puja, Nirbara Bhakta. That's what the Guru does for you. Shankara tells you. And Gurudev explained it in Sam. I mean, there is nobody like him. Nobody can express like him. So he gave you examination and character and. No, he gave you examination to all the. All the. He wanted. They were probably 2,000 people sitting there. For all of them. And at the end of the Vajra he said, today you will write a test. And all of us took a test. And Surprise everybody, you were not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think just to see whether we had paid attention to what you say. Did you uh, get married? Uh, <laughs> so that must uh, be a very interesting episode, isn't it? I, I sent that song to a long telegram. I didn't tell my father. I sent Swami a long telegram. Telling you the name. Namaste. 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 That's all details. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about Gurudev. So I sent him a long telegram as to why I thought I wanted to marry this young lady. And I said to Gurudev. I knew Gurudev was staying in the class. So you did not send it to Amma. You was straight sent to Gurudev. Gurudev showed Amma. I didn't know that what would like to this. I thought it was necessary. So he told Amma, okay. This is Amma's version because I was not there. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Tell Vaughn. 
ask her to come and stay in Madras for one month. We will examine her. And then decide. So, Padmini and her mother came. He changed your name? He changed your name. No, they came to Delhi. They came to Delhi on Diwali day. Yeah, I met on Diwali day. Gurudev was in uh, Krishna Prasad's house, Jagdish Prasad's brother in Ghaziabad. And the so, whole family had come down. Yeah, everybody was here, we talked, Gurudev was here with me. So we, I took mother in law and this young lady to Swamiji. So you did not show to Amma first, it is. No, then they met Amma. Amma met them. Then we met Amma. The next morning we went for Swamiji's uh, Viksha and uh, Viksha breakfast. Yeah, of course, that was. Uh, mm -hmm. Not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We shall call her Padmini. I, I was waiting to see what I didn't know what to tell her. Padmini's mother was there and she was there. She said, when he said we shall call her Padmini, I know what their blessings were there. Do you remember any one? Looks One like. which has elevated you, which has really, you know, uplifted you from being used, uh, I can't manage, but like, I'm warm. Never felt it. It's good never felt it. That you're lost or you, you are helpless. I must say, at no time in the worst time when there was no work, we were just sitting, selling machines in our factory to pay salaries of the various employees. There was never a hopeless feeling in the mind. Mm -hmm. We paid every piece of that to the market, that's all. We got work, we got collaboration. That I, must tell you, I mean, it has got to be miracles. We were looking, our uh, designs were banned. Just to give you a small incident, our designs were banned by the government because they were inefficient. New companies from abroad had come in with better designs. So I was thinking, what should we do now? It was a conference. In the conference, I met a German who was looking for me. How do you explain that? He has no clue who we are. Where is there is a fellow called Nambia who builds batch extraction plant. We only want to talk to him. We won't ask him in the conference. Those are miracles you cannot imagine. So many miracles we've seen. Yes. So it was, you know, it, they all they all feel, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we feel that even most of the said physically is I mean it's we can't describe the book. But even without being here physically, still mm -hmm. he's very really powerful. It's very powerful. And his last word for me was Swamiji was there. 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 Swamiji was there.
What I always remember is I never had to ask Swamiji a question. I never had the courage for Swamiji. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I never asked. The answer would come somewhere along the line while he's talking. The answer would come. I'm sure if every one of us is facing a problem, yeah. no one is asking. The answers are flowing like yeah, just. Yeah, just exactly. And it will always be personal, you know, like. And the other person also will not know why you should be something which should be. Everybody, if you think that oh, I am his favorite, you know, that was the impression you think. Can you? Is it ever possible for any person, like you know, to make everybody satisfied in like the way you would think? It's possible. Yes. The Mahapurusha of that quality alone yeah. can give love and affection in that unlimited fashion. Exactly. Exactly. The compassion he had for us, imagine, to take all the nonsense he threw at him, to harass him to no end. To make him work like a machine, 365 days, his program was fixed in advance. He couldn't even afford to sit quietly for one day and have a holiday. He couldn't. We wouldn't let him. And he did it with this smile, with that cheerfulness you cannot imagine. Only when you think back, you realize. Only when you sit back and sit yeah, back. Yeah, that's it. You simply look at what you thought. But it is pure Vedanta in action. There cannot be a better lesson than the way he lived. After Mr. Gandhi passed away, I travelled with Swamiji to Vidyakashi because he was blocked. Hello, please explain that. Yeah. Okay, the story she has got to tell Yeah, he was blocked here in Delhi. Mm -hmm. So he took, you know, one of our drivers, he likes to take it to the Himalayas. The driver was his favourite driver to drive to Vidyakashi. Our driver was from there. And those roads that the fellow would drive so safely, so much he felt very comfortable. So he told Mrs. Gandhi pastor that there was a rioting going on, so he said, Kale, tomorrow So three cars used to The ladies went there, all lucky, I couldn't go. All the ladies are lucky. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's how me and Amma also got the chance. <laughs> so Swamiji, when we reached there, at the foot of the, you know, there are a few steps to climb to the, to Tapuan Puti in the yard. Swamiji transformed. Swamiji was holding a stick. You know, normally mm -hmm. I mean, in real life he was with a stick. Yeah. He opened the door. There was no stick. He had his paduka on. And he climbed the staircase like a boy of 16 years old. Going to the school. Like if Tabawan Maharaj was there waiting for him. He climbed, I could climb as fast behind him with a stick singing, you know, so he is going to, you know, and, and you know with a paduka, yeah. it's not like a, you know, he's walking in. shoes. Move fast, fast, and full prostrated from the hotel, the hotel of Tamarat. Like total devotion to his guru. Guru Bhakti, one incident that Padmini had which is forgetting is, she told Swami. I am not going to have a bath in the garden, it is so cold. <laughs> so Swami <Swansi I'll> <laughs> laughed. <laughs> I thought, I will see. So these ladies went there, they were sitting on a rock. Why don't you tell her yeah. yourself? Please tell her. And she's sitting on a rock. Bharati, uh, that. Uh, and Mimi Robbins. Mimi there. Robbins. Take the photos and all this thing. So it's probably. sitting on a flat rock. Really flat, I mean, like a like a like a table, yeah. and looking at the Ganges, with sari and sweater and everything, because it was winter. And suddenly, shoot, like if somebody had pushed me, I went into the Ganges up to here. <laughs> you had to, so I had to march. <laughs> See that? And then the ladies don't don't run away with it. And I think, but you know that it was untangling, and so right now, and yeah. they pulled me up. And I said, now how do I face one jump? Wet. But of course, you know, with Anjali and everything, the, the news went up like that. So I went slowly, changed, and given Sadhguru Swamiji, he said, Aha, never say to Kanka that you are not going to put your foot there. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I told you. When they came back, uh -huh. she's purified for life. <laughs>